We're here with Spike Jones. Since he's literally our boss, we're gonna let him take control of this show. Spike, what do you got? <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for coming. The, uh, the uh, <laughs> this is our job, Spike. Right. <laughs> thank you for coming, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, the, the, uh, I was telling these guys before that I, I've been watching the vibe of you guys is really fun and awesome. And I've watched the casting stuff. When they first were finding people, they sent me the, your tapes. And the, uh, they sent like a, a thing you talking about going to get a massage on YouTube. Oh, wow. Funny as shit. OK, you're really? trying to send me to get another massage spike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really funny. It was so good. Have you seen that? No. Oh, th yeah. <laughs> I went to get a massage like from this like Groupon situation, so you would know it was already like messy. And the dude, the way that he was massaging me, I was like, "Am I about to get a happy ending?" Like he kept, <laughs> like he wasn't like in it, but he was like close enough that I was like, "Sir, <laughs> you're beating around the bush." Sir, beating around the bush. <laughs> so. And then he didn't do it, and I was like, "Damn, two stars." Uh. <laughs> yeah, well, I was asking these guys before, like, what what do you want the show to be? What's good. It? Good. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I would like this show to be uh, more important, like a platform. Like, I, you know, we have so many friends, all of us, who do things that we're interested in, mm -hmm. who don't get to see any sort of exposure on major networks. And Viceland seems like the perfect place to say, hey, come here and, like, show and tell. Yeah, I got so many dope people in my life that, like, you know, they're too black, or they're too gay, or they're too this, or whatever, for like mainstream television. Right. And I feel like they deserve to be here. Yeah. Also, Spike, why did you bring your coat up here? <laughs> I didn't want to get stolen over there. He's about to leave, He's about to leave right now. He's getting straight on the plane off this couch. Like, uh, he was like, everybody in here look real poor. <laughs> Um, what did, like, what's been working so far? Like, what, what, when it works, what is it, what, what's working? What are the things you're most excited about? You know, Spike, I feel like you're being cheap. Like, you could have taken us to lunch and we could have talked about <laughs> right. it. You should be eating lobster right now. You got all these people listening to us complain about this job. Yeah. Right? You could have taken us to get some steak or something. <laughs> you know? All right, I will. Next time I'm in town, I'll yeah, do the right. lobster. <laughs> Um, I, th I feel like the crowd that we get is always really, really hype. Like, I feel like the people, yeah. the, the people work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love us talking, doing like the Vice Guy the Right Now stuff, just us talking shit and just getting off perspective. That's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, same. I, I like just being on couches with, with <laughs> like-minded people and I don't have to sit at a desk like that or yeah. somewhere uncomfortable. Like, we get to be like we are back in the green room. And uh, did you guys just natural, meet, so. like, had any of you guys known each other before this? I knew Tony uh, and Marie and Sandy, Sandy yeah, knew each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we all just kind of like fused together because, you know, we have to come together. Because we have to. Yeah, yeah. Also, <laughs> we're, yeah. we're all like the same amount of crazy and the same amount of weird and the same amount of mean. Sandy's the meanest. Um, <laughs> I'm vicious. Mm -hmm. And what do you like about these guys? Uh, I like, Tony, because we share a lot of sentiments about Southern music and how important it is. And we love to just sit in the green room and listen to like Three Six Mafia. Mm -hmm. I love me and Marie because she's like the big sister that I never had, never even asked for. But she just- <laughs> the, the big sister? How yeah. old are you? I'm 28. Are you okay. younger than me? I'm like 24. <laughs> are you <laughs> okay. The level of disrespect. But she walks in, she, you know, she walks in and I'm getting undressed and she's like, look at his thighs. And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, they uh, together real weird. He's uh, like back. <laughs> and uh, Sandy, just because like we also share interests and in, like she's you know what she does with her comedy group, Three Busy Debras. I feel like you know me and Sandy both pick a booger and we like eat it. We about to eat this booger. We eat each other. We kind of yeah yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah I feel yeah. like these are all people I went to school with already. Mm -hmm. Do you and you guys already like. Feel like you know each other and trust each other? Yeah. Yeah. Trust. I'm not know telling about them that. my business. <laughs> I'm all about trust, but I do like everybody though. Zach reminds me of my older brother who like is just a mess. Uh, <laughs> he's getting his life together though. Uh, both of them. And is I like your, wait, your life a mess? Huh? Is your life a mess? No, I was saying my brother's a oh, mess. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Should we call him? Uh, he, probably, he, he probably hasn't woken up yet for the day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
And I like Sandy because Sandy will say something, and if it if it's funny to her, she's gonna say it whether y'all laugh or not. I love like, that. Y'all are gonna get to know Sandy <laughs> and yeah. know that this is hilarious to her, and that's why she said it. Yeah. I can't tell if that's um, a compliment. It's a compliment. It's a compliment. It's a compliment. Gonna, shade there. Yeah, I'm gonna say it no matter what, even if you don't think it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about like is it is it hard like be doing live TV to. Do you have to censor yourself, or is it nerve-wracking? Is it something to say what like you're thinking, to like in this day where everything is combed and picked apart? I feel like we say whatever the fuck we want to on this show. Good. Every night. Yeah. Um, I was surprised, because I thought, you know, we, we were doing a lot of rehearsals before the show started, and I, I wasn't feeling nervous, and I was like, oh, well, I'm sure once we go live, I'll actually be nervous. But then it hasn't really happened yet, because it does, it, because having like a It a feels small like we're room. just in a room of people, you know. Yeah. What I mean? yeah the vibe. And we we're, we're here <laughs> all day, so we're so comfortable in this building. Yeah. I don't know how many people have the Viceland channel, so <laughs> I feel like honestly, for me it's relaxing cuz I feel like it's just our parents and the people who are in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, Zach's mom will text him while we're My on mom the just texted me while we were talking about Jesse Smollett. The 16 counts were for this, 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 <laughs> this, 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 this. My like, dad called in last week. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And my yeah. mom's like, yeah, I like the show, except for she don't like when you wear socks with sandals. She better get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't stopping. It's an African man. Let's go. Keep going. My like, mom pitched me some ideas for the, oh, the show. She's well, like, yo, I want to get a call and, like, really tell you what, what I'm thinking have all these ideas of like, all right. Let's okay, call her, yeah. let's get her on the phone. My mom has she no ideas. She would love to, to talk to you about this. <laughs> okay. Our mothers are who watch TV. That's it, so at least yeah. six people are watching yeah. the show. We, we don't watch television. I, I watch television on streaming and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But yeah. Our moms are the people who are really tuning in and being like critical and, and I like this and I don't like that. You got good notes from your parents? Good notes yeah. and bad notes. Well, really? yeah, yeah. Notes that were like, like they were actually right? critical. Like, like oh, what? you were like really thinking about like camera blocking and like, like you really watch a lot of TV. She'll be like, you know, she wants to make sure that like, if Sandy says something and she's getting a joke across, that camera's on her and trained <laughs> on her and not on Tony's face. You know what yeah. I mean? And those are things that like. We need to know. We that's, need to hear about. That's good. My mom's main idea is that we should argue more, and, <laughs> I and we're like too similar. I kind of agree. <laughs> okay, I like so that. let's find something to argue about. Somebody throw a topic out. I just asked Marie to choke me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> what? Anybody got a topic? Like, what are y'all thinking about that you feel like we didn't talk, talk about in hot topics or something? You, sir, with the sunglasses, maybe you got something that you wanna. You got, R. Kelly. R. Kelly. We did that. We talked about that last week. But you, wait, 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 wait. You want us to argue, argue about, about R. Kelly? You want us to take different sides <laughs> on the issue? Oh, <laughs> uh, we talked about that yesterday. Oh, y'all not up to. Y'all need to watch every episode. <laughs> I saw that one. Actually, I got a question for you because I, I, I saw that one thing that I, I listened to the, the podcast at The Daily. You ever listened mm -hmm. to that? And uh, the writer was saying how most of the kids didn't know this was happening. So that now they're finding out this week. And like, what, you, what do you guys think about that? Like, I think the, those kids knew. Like, you do? if I go to school and I'm cutting all my classes and I'm not studying for exams, but I'm just passing every grade, something is up. I right. think that what if the kids no, were that, like, but that's the not kids, kids are like, wait, so easy. The kids were like, wait, this is a scandal. I thought I was just white. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I was doing something wrong. Fuck. But they, they weren't cutting their class. I think what it was like, they, a lot of the kids might get in there on the fence, but the parents were so nervous about it, they wanted it guaranteed. Mm. And so it was, I, I don't, I, I don't know, unless the guy from the New York Times was wrong, he, their reporting was, or her reporting was that, most of the kids didn't know. I read that as well. I read that one of the kids took the SATs and the uh, person administering their t the test um, had changed the answers, so they got a higher score. And then that kid went back to the teacher and said, oh, maybe I should take it again because I got such a good score. And usually when you take it, you get higher. So I should do it again. Yeah. Like he was just so excited oh, that, Damn. yeah, he got like a high score. Mm -mm. I would feel so bad. I would feel so bad. As a rich white child, you would feel bad? <laughs> yes! I would feel so much guilt and shame. Does anybody in here feel sorry for any of those kids? Uh, oh. Clap, clap if you do. I They'll feel be bad all right. for the kids. They'll be okay. But just on a personal level. I don't feel bad for them, sis. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think, where, 
how do you feel about, are you optimistic or are you cynical about the future of the country? Where we go in the next 10, 20 years? Like, oh shit. I don't even know if we have 20 years. I feel like yeah. the world is gonna end in like at least six. Yeah. I, I feel like I have to be optimistic if I wanna stay in this country. Mm. Cause you ain't got your papers? Oh no, I definitely got them. <laughs> and I will leave. <laughs> Meaning but, you have to stay optimistic if you're just to, to want to stay here. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like it's, it's right in the middle for me because you can't be too cynical to the point where you're immobilizing yourself because if you look at everything on Twitter every single day, you'll fall into a depression and you, you just don't want to go outside and help anybody. But blind optimism, like if you're a, a blind optimist right now, might as well, are, are you just like in the 1%? Like you yeah. have no issues, you're just apolitical, you don't see anything, so. It's in the but there are yeah. people in this country that see no problems with anything. Absolutely. Because uh, they're, in, they're, a, they're the in a sweet little spot. Yeah. And they're like, well, I don't have, you know. I'm good. You know, I got a job. That's My totally kids are foolish. in college. Right. How do you feel, Spike? Um, I kind of, yeah, I think I agree with Tony that like, you kind of have to feel optimistic. And also, I do feel like there, we're, that there, this, there's, it's a small, very vocal group of very negative people. Mm -hmm. and, and then a bigger group of, very conservative people that are going to age out and that like our country is going to there's going to be a shift uh, eventually we got to wait for some people to die is what you mm -hmm. mean. yeah mm -hmm. or we got to kill uh, some people <laughs> i think it's going to take a big fight i think it's really important for us to be as progressive as possible sure. and i keep driving that point through for sure and i think that, that that's the only way it's going to happen is that that's you know is make the future we want to have yeah but uh i don't know do you marie do you have anything you're op optimistic about um no. <laughs> I'm optimistic uh, that the show's going to be real cute next week. Super excited about Vice Live next week.